Hey you guys, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey and today we are out here with you guessed it an iPhone hacks video It has been a hot minute because I've been sleep. I've been stuck in 1992 with my old iPhone So I finally decided to upgrade recently to the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max and I got it in the blue color. I just got a new case. It's coming in the mail like two weeks behind so this one will be going back because i do not like it and i do not have the matching charger for it so disregard that um this isn't going to be like a what's on my iphone video but if that is something that you would be interested in seeing how i organize my iphone how i do the widgets and all of that good stuff and what apps i find to be essential then drop a comment down below give this video a fat thumbs up and i'd be happy to come back and do that once my new iphone case comes in and i can share about like where i like to get iphone cases that are actually durable because I'm the type that does not like to change my freaking case. I'll have the same case for years and that doesn't bother me. So let's get into these hacks, things that I find to be extremely helpful and useful when it comes to iOS 15. So if you don't have the new iPhone, definitely worth upgrading and installing the new update for the software because there's some really cool features on here that I think are like kind of mind-blowing how a phone can just do so many things and it's kind of scary at the same time it's just crazy but I'll get into that when I get into it so the first hack that I really think is extremely helpful is the focus mode this is something that you could find when you drag down on your like main screen and it's called focus right here so this is extremely helpful for those of us that are working from home those of us that have productivity issues those of us that have notifications digging off constantly and you want to silence those that is where focus mode would come into play it's kind of like do not disturb but you have a little bit more control over what notifications you can kind of silence and for how long and you could also categorize them as well so if you guys can see here is a menu of the focus and this just allows me to concentrate on one task at a time if i'm sitting down for work for two hours trying to edit something the last thing i want is to have my phone just dinging off and then distracting me from what i need to do so i think this is absolutely amazing and i mean not only can you do the focus mode but there's also the sleep i find that to be helpful too but you will get calls from people that are like your favorites and stuff so it's not like your phone's not going to go off at all which i think is nice there's a lot of room to control what notifications you decide to get and for how long during that time and what's cool too is if that mode is on let's say you're like in a group chat or like a text or whatever it'll actually say that you're on do not disturb like people will know so i think that's kind of cool too it kind of brings me back to like the aim days when we'd have like our little what were they called statuses like that's kind of like giving me that type of vibe so that's the first hack if you have problems focusing because your phone is going off and you get distracted definitely try the focus mode and play around with the notifications that you want to silence oh this is for those of us that like to be on the down low, okay? When we're out here surfing the Safari app because sometimes, you know, I don't need people to know my history. <laughs> Not that I look up any crazy weird things, you know? So to access this private browsing mode, all you have to do is open up your Safari app, go down to like a new page, and then you will click on the tab and then it says private and now we have actually entered the private browsing mode so you can search safari and not have to worry about it saving your history and then you having to go back into your settings to clear out your history <laughs> not judging but now you guys know i think that's amazing so you can always turn that on or off as well whatever floats your boat i have to take a picture of something really quick so i could show you guys this next hack so i'm just gonna take a picture of I don't know this tag because there's text on it and that is very crucial for what I'm about to show you for hack number three so if you're ever out and about you see like I don't know a sign that's advertising for an apartment building that you might be interested in it has a phone number on it maybe a website link you can snap a quick pic if you're at like the light or something and you have other things to do other places to be and you can actually find information based off of that photo that you took which is mind-blowing to me because like how how sway how well I'm gonna show you guys so I just took this 
picture of a tag that has some random text on it let's say i wanted to actually define a word that's in this photo okay let's just go with um i don't know the word support <laughs> so what we're gonna do is double tap on it oh my gosh and it brings up a menu similar to what we would get if we were in like i don't know a text or something on the website reading about something select all look up translate into a different language yes or share so just for kicks let's look up the definition so it brings us to a definition of the word support this was literally just a photo that i took of a random tag right amazing like we literally have the whole world in our hands from a photo okay let's say i don't want to know the definition let's say instead i want to translate it um our next hack so we can actually translate in a few different languages here um english spanish being one of them there's not a ton i don't think but documentación bro they give us a pronunciation of the word support in Spanish, so you can learn Spanish on the go. Documentación. Documenta. Hold on. Documentación. Documentación. We're gonna work on that. Next up is for those of us, because you know, millennials are very smart in these streets. You know, we don't want to just give our email out to anyone and everybody, especially if we're on the website and we're trying to get a free coupon code, but it's asking for our information. I'm not gonna put it in my personal email. You know what I'm gonna do? So open up your settings app. We're gonna go digging to turn this hide my email feature on. We're gonna click on like our contact photo and then we're gonna go down to iCloud and then we're gonna have an option underneath the iCloud and it's gonna say hide my email, which we're going to then click and it's gonna actually give us like preset I don't want to give you mine because that's kind of weird but it's going to give you preset addresses and you can kind of create your own but basically it's like having a fake email but it's all going to forward to your personal email so let's say you are online you want to get a coupon code but it's asking you for your email in order to get this discount you can give them your fake email instead of having like your personal because we all know that comes with spam these websites sell addresses and then we end up with 50 spam emails a day in our personal and that's just not it okay so to avoid that this is what you want to do is hide your email and create one that you can go ahead and send out when you don't want to give out your personal so i love that i think that is an amazing feature an amazing hack that everybody needs to know about because i don't know about you but i have so much spam and it is it, it's annoying it's annoying and then i unsubscribe and then it's just i get more it mm. This next one I feel like some people probably know about, but also some people might not know about. But this hack is to retain the same beautiful quality of like a photo or a video that you want to send to someone else's device. So I would definitely do it through AirDrop and not through text message. Because whenever I send files through text, it drops the quality tremendously. It's blurry, it's grainy, maybe it's a lag, I don't know. But something about sending it through text just it drops the quality significantly so i always 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 recommend airdrop if possible to save the quality of whatever content that you took so keep that in mind if you're out here doing content creation and you're taking photos for your friend and they're like oh can you send it to me airdrop it i don't know about you guys but i have thousands of photos in my iphone so unless i know what month and what year it was taken in i cannot find anything to save my life i'm just scrolling to scroll so you can now search your photos through the photo app by keywords let's say you are looking for a picture i don't know you and your mans is at the beach and you're like oh i want to you know remember that day let me go find the picture but you can't find it so we're going to open up the photos app and there's a search bar at the top girl type in beach okay because that's where you guys were oh my gosh it's gonna bring up locations that you were this is crazy literally locations that you were at when you took those pictures it's also gonna bring up any photo that resembles the beach okay and my photos are kind of cringe so i don't uh, uh, girl i don't know if i want to show you guys these but f it this is all the photos that came up from the beach 
Bro, it just saved me 20 minutes of my life trying to scroll to find a picture from the beach. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be from the beach, but you know, just keywords that you might have been. Let's see wine. Bro, let me show you this. <laughs> Bro, not me with the champagne bottle. Like, how? How do, how do they know? This is what's kind of scary to me about these phones because... Actually, I know they are let's look up the word give me a word guys in the comments give me a word um club <gasps> no they did not pull up pictures of me at the club mind blown this hack is for all of my creators out there influencers out there people out here trying to be artsy get that quality without having to actually have a proper professional camera now i feel like you can get some really good quality videos especially from the camera on the iphone 13 so this is going to be something that i'm definitely going to utilize so i'm going to go into the oh hello the camera app i'm going to scroll over to cinematic this is going to give us that professional blurred background while keeping like the main object or subject in focus, aka me. So let's say you want to sit down and record a video for your YouTube channel, but you don't want to spend, I don't know, another thousand dollars on another piece of equipment. You can just use this. And what's cool is you can kind of control the amount of blurredness in the background. I'm going to do a quick, you know, screen record because why not? And right now I have my iPhone on cinematic mode, but I'm also using the front facing camera, which is still amazing, insane quality. Cause we all want to be able to see what we look like versus, you know, just flipping it around and not being able to tell. So I am going to click on my face. It's already highlighting the fact that I'm the subject and you could see how nice and blurred the background is. This is what will amp up your video quality. If you don't want to have to invest in another, proper professional camera this this probably looks better than what i'm recording on right now because there's no blurredness at all so if you prefer this look definitely worth utilizing and it's also similar to portrait mode which is another hack if you are trying to get ample quality especially while using the front facing camera all i'm going to do is recommend uh, that you guys go over to portrait mode this is going to be like the video version of you know cinematic mode but in a picture it also just blurs the background making you a lot more sharp in the content that you're creating i don't know what it does but i always take my photos on my iphone and this is my hack to getting crisp clear pictures even when i had an iphone 10. so if you're looking for better quality portrait mode cinematic mode is definitely going to be your best bet you know what I'm saying? Thank me later, y'all. All right, you guys. Those are about it. That's all I have to share with you guys when it comes down to my um, iPhone hacks, tips, tricks, things that you probably didn't know that you need to know because some of these are insane. Let me know if you guys have any hacks that I didn't go over in this video. Drop them in the comments down below and let me know if you knew about any of these because I still can't get over the fact that I can copy a text from a picture let alone search in my own photos for keep like i like what else does the phone do that we don't know about i just <laughs> scared but anyway thank you guys for watching this video thumbs up if this was helpful for you subscribe for more iphone related videos like i said i might come back and do a what's my iphone for you guys and i just could go on about apps and things like that that I love to use like my go-to's and all that good stuff so if that interests you then make sure you hit the post notification bell so you never miss an upload and I will see you guys in my next video very soon bye